So our three month growing phase uh, has come to an end. And here's the after we uh, used beard supplements, beard vitamins, collagen, uh, biotin, all of that stuff for three months and a very minimal trimming. And now my beard's kind of overgrown for what I want to go for. And it's time to plan out our trim. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So welcome guys. My name is Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And I just hit 1900 subscribers. When we get to the 2000, we're going to be doing a, a big giveaway of a Brio Beardscape version two trimmer. So make sure you check out that video uh, and leave a comment so you can be entered. And also you can go back and check out the beard supplement series that I did for three months. You can see the before and after. This is the after, obviously. And now we're going to try to dial it in and figure out how we want to trim our beard. So um, when I get ready to trim my beard, it's usually um, it takes a while for me to plan it out. Like I think about it for a week. Like I'm, I'm every time I look in my in the mirror, I'm looking to see what's going on. What what do I like? What do I not like so much? Um, you know, how hard is it to get my beard to look the way I want? Like how much heat, how much product do I have to use? I'm not one that usually likes to use a ton of uh, heat, but since I've been letting my uh, beard grow out, I've been having to use it more on a daily basis. Didn't use any today. So this is kind of free flow, which I like sometimes. I also been growing out my cheeks just for video purposes, for content purposes. So we did a video talking about our cheat lines a little bit. You can go back and check that out for some more detail. So I'm going to have to go in and carve kind of new stat, uh, uh, cheat lines and kind of reestablish where I want that to be. And that can vary. depends on what kind of mustache we're going with. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep the big separate mustache or I want to go back to an all-in-one uh, type of shape. So let me know in the comments, should I keep the big, huge separate mustache or should we go back to a, a more normal uh, mustache? But one of the best things you can do uh, every time you look in the mirror, you're kind of uh, assessing, look at different times of the day, look at the end of the day versus right after you styled your beard um, and kind of compare and, and where the trouble spots pop up as the day goes on. Also make sure you take plenty of pictures. Because looking at yourself in a mirror is definitely different than uh, a picture. Now, your selfie camera can kind of um, um, stretch the camera in weird ways, and it may not always be authentic. So you can get someone else to take a picture or go really far away with your camera or set it up and walk away and kind of use the normal camera instead of the selfie camera, which can kind of give you the, the fisheye stretched look. Uh, sometimes it's not quite as accurate, but make sure you're also getting the side view as well because... Who doesn't love a good side beard profile? I love the, the beard profile uh, pictures. So just kind of be reassessing that, thinking about it. And if you've got enough experience trimming your own beard, uh, as you're looking, you can kind of plan out what needs to go. So also be thinking about how uh, do you want angles? Do you want more things rounded or you want it more linear? Uh, and then also be thinking about your width. Do you want to do the the hedge trimming where you're uh, kind of controlling the width a little bit more? Are you going for more length? Do you want a shorter length? Do you want to maintain? You just want to take away the transparency. So all of those things should be running through your head um, on the, the week pretty much leading up into a beard trim. Uh, also, what you can do is to take a look. If you don't have a goal in mind, try to find an example. It could be a picture of you earlier on. Um, or it could be, you know, looking on Instagram or YouTube and trying to find something to go by. So just to show you, I looked on Instagram and found uh, a couple of pictures of the beard style. I know these guys have really great dense beards, uh, a little bit denser than mine, but you can kind of see the, the outline of the shapes that I'm looking for. So it's got a little, it's, it's really defined, but there's also uh, some lines, but also some roundness to it. I don't like everything to be straight angled. Uh, and then I also I went back and uh, took a look at some of my old pictures. So this this is a picture of me about a year ago. And to me, I really like the way this is looking. Uh, I didn't put the front view of this uh, particular shape. It was a little bit too narrow. So I'm thinking to keep it a little bit fuller uh, on the sides. Uh, but that overall shape, I kind of like that. And if you can, and here's an example of me with a shorter mustache. It's still a nice full mustache. It's just not the separate mustache with the little tails and everything on it. So you have to let me know there which one you think I should do with this uh, this big old mustache. Once you cut the beard down short, I definitely I don't like the beard stash look on me because once your your chin starts to get smaller and smaller, and then you have still have that big mustache. I to me, 
Uh, I just don't like it. It seems out of proportion for me, at least. Um, so when you do the beard trim, so I've got a picture here of uh, me currently, so you can see kind of what it looks like. Definitely a little bit overgrown, so I need to establish the cheek lines. And the bottom line looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to take it up just a little bit just to, to kind of line everything up. But you have to think about how you want things in the front, like how much length you're taking off. And I got a little bit on the very tip there where I, I dyed my beard. It's almost all the way grown out with my skunk stripe. Uh, so that would be the first place you go. So let me see here. I've got um, this one. So I went in and put some lines in. So you kind of see what I'm thinking. Not huge drastic changes. Just want to define my beard. I just want to um, make it high definition, if you will. Clean it up. Um, uh, really sharpen it. And then I am going to do quite a bit of work on the sides and the tapering because I don't want to have to use heat all the time on it. So I'm going to start with that bottom line. Uh, and then the next thing I will do is kind of the sideburn area. And then for me, I am definitely going to control the sides. And when you think about the sides, you have to think about, um, you know, do you want the natural look and just to be all poofy? Um, or do you want to actually do the hedge trimming and get rid of those flyaways through trimming instead of through using heat or using products to hold it in place? So you have to see what works for you. And your beard may be really straight. If you're the straighter your hair, the less hedge trimming you should probably do. You should let it grow all the way out and just control the ends of it here. Maybe use the uh, rounded under at the bottom. I uh, did a video on that. You can check that out. And then you've got some, uh, you know, you can keep everything flat or you can have just a little bit of a curve. I like things that are just a little bit curvy. I like the, uh, I like lines. I like definition, but not super straight lines. So I'm just going to try to dial everything in on that. Uh, also, my sideburn area right here, it really kicks out. Uh, I think it's this side over here that really kicks out. Uh, and it's got a really um, a curl to it. So what you have to ask yourself on these areas is if I were to take away this, if I were to take this away, it's not affecting the bottom of my beard. So instead of it really bugging me here, because it looks like the, the, the ocean waves is what my hair does right here. I'm not going to take it all away, but I am going to say, hey, uh, that's OK for me to take away a, a lot of this and to taper it. So you're going to see me go in with uh, clipper guards, but also angling a comb out and being able to taper this area. Uh, works really well for me and that's how I can get a little bit more of a sharp look and not have to use so much product not have to use so much heat and that's kind of what I did here you, on this picture you can see the sides there are pretty tapered um, but yeah I still have the length down at the bottom didn't really affect that too much so I probably won't go quite as drastic as this uh, particular picture I will with the sides at the top but but maybe just a little bit fuller uh, all around and see how that goes so that's kind of the plan for me and kind of my thought processes as I go through planning out a beard trim. Uh, and then as you'll see here, I've got to figure out my cheat lines and my cheat lines uh, is going to depend on whether I keep the bigger mustache. If I keep the bigger mustache. I can go right to the corner of my mouth uh, and make that uh, the curve. If I'm going to uh, trim the mustache back down and have it uh, all together with my beard, I'm going to go a little bit higher. I'm going to have to, uh, to try to get it to go here. Uh, to the top of your mustache. You want as the high as you can if you're um, keeping the, the mustache a little bit shorter and in line with the beard. At least that's what works for me. So that's kind of the things that I thought about. Uh, I think we talked about everything. Just want to double check. Yep, that's pretty much everything I, I go through when I consider doing my beard trim. I'm going to go ahead and do that pretty soon over the next couple of days. So I'm not going to get a haircut because I have, I have one of those a couple of weeks back. So I won't go quite as uh, as sharp through here. I want to go quite as short because I usually go through for a one here. So that means you need to have a one up here and kind of blend it in. So it's probably grown out to a two by now. But anyway, be looking for that video soon and let me know in the comments. Uh, is that are, th are there other things that you think about when you trim your beard? Uh, if so, let me know because I want to make sure everybody can uh, see that. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching and we'll be seeing you soon.